Okay, let's go back to Inception. This is the fourth Inception paper. We had Google Net, that was Inception 1. Then we had Bash Normalization, Inception 2. We had Inception 3. Now we have Inception V4, which are some more modifications to the version 3. And then after the ResNet paper, Inception also tried to adapt the residual connections and see whether they get improvements. And they actually got improvements. This is the macro structure of an Inception version 4 network. Our inputs are, and here, it's 299 by 299. That's the resolution, you have three channels. It goes through a stem, which is gonna take this 299 by 299 image, and then it's outputting 35 by 35 by 384 channels. Then you have four Inception A. I'm gonna tell you what is Inception A. Then you do reduction A, seven Inception Bs, reduction. So whenever you have reduction, the dimensions are gonna go down. Basically from 35, you're going to 17 after the reduction. From 17, you are going to eight after the reduction. You have three Inception C, an average pooling, a global average pooling which is gonna take an average of these 64 numbers per channel. That's gonna give you this output, 1,536. Then you have a dropout. You're keeping 80% of your weights, sorry, your connections, and then you do a softmax. So there are a bunch of things that I owe you. I need to tell you what is inception, what is reduction, and what is stem. Before we do that, let's take a look at Inception ResNet, version one and version two. There is a stem. There are five Inception ResNet 1A. So ResNet is coming in here. So I need to tell you what this is. Reduction is the same. I need to tell you what is Inception ResNet 1B is and uh, the rest of it is the same. So ResNets are coming in these blocks. Let's start with the stem. Stem is the same for Inception V4 and Inception ResNet V2. There is the input, there is 32 three by three convolutions, they have a stride of two, and V is for valid padding. Then there is three by three convolution, the dimension is now gonna change to 64, then you have a max pooling, and a three by three convolution, you concatenate the filters, you lower the dimension, you go to 64 using one by one convolutions, and you remember this slide, this type of operations. From inception, you still have them here. Seven by one, one by seven. In total, it has a receptive field of seven by seven. And then you do a three by three convolution. You concatenate them. There is max pooling, stride. You have different strides. And then in the end, you concatenate and that's how you get your 35 by 35 by 384. So the number here is 256. That's for Inception ResNet version one. For Inception Re ResNet version two, this number is 384 for this stem. It's the same as Inception V4. For V1, that's the stem, a bunch of three by three convolutions. So there are no seven by one and one by seven. And then the, in the end, the dimension is 256. So that's the stem. For Inception A, what I owed you here, you do average pooling, one by one convolution, one by one convolution, and so on. Inception A for the ResNet, there is a ResNet connection. After the ReLU activation, you just add it to the output of your Inception module. And for ResNet V2, that's the architecture. The only change is here, 384 compared to 256. The rest of it, this is also 64, this is 32. Do you guys see any other change? So these are the only two changes in version one and version two. But the key idea is these residual connections. And for inception B and inception C blocks, there wasn't enough room for me to plot stuff on this single slide. So I'm referring you to the paper if you're interested. And what changes is in terms of error, top one error, inception V4, is the green one. Inception ResNet V2 is the red one, so it's doing the best. Inception V3 is the previous paper, the previous version of Inception. 
and this is the inception v1. So inception v1 is very similar to inception v3, and you're adding the residual connections. And as you can see, it's training better, training faster. In the end, they are gonna end up being very similar, but during the course of the training, things are behaving better. You're converging much faster to this level. You're converging to that level of error, I don't know, around your 100 epoch. And inception ResNet v2 is a ResNet version of v4. So v4 is better than v3, and v2 in ResNet connections actually help v4 to train better. We are one minute over time. For those of you who have a question, you are more than welcome to ask, or, and for those of you who want to leave, you can leave. Any questions? I have a question, but it's not really related to lecture today. Sure. Um, I was wondering what hyperparameter optimization looks like in these networks, in state-of-the-art versions, I guess, of hyperparameter optimization. So there is this field called AutoML, and if you refer to the syllabus, we are gonna cover that. After going through small networks, we are gonna do automatic machine learning. And that one is about hyperparameter optimization. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Any other questions? Thanks. Okay, perfect. Any other questions?